Hey, just so you know, it's not that common. It doesn't happen to every guy, and it is a big deal. I knew it. Chandler is a great name. In fact, yes. I'm. I'm sorry. I know you really wanted me to name the baby Joey, but so I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna name the baby Chandler. Really? Yeah, but you have to keep the name, too. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You want to hug it out? Yeah. <laughs> yay. 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 Oh, yay. Okay, I'm going to go tell Frank and Alice right okay. now. Okay. <gasps> bye, Phoebs. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh. If you ask me, as long as you got this job, you got nothing pushing you to get another one. You need the fear. The fear? He's right. If you quit this job, you then have motivation to go after a job you really want. Well, then how come you're still at a job that you hate? I mean, why don't you quit and get the fear? <laughs> because I'm too afraid. I was in her uh, home ec class. And he was my best student. Yeah, she was my best teacher. Oh. If that doesn't keep kids in school, what will? Have you seen Joey? What's the matter? Oh, just this? <laughs> you know what? It's my fault, really, because the couch is where we usually keep the varnish. Hi, Ken Adams. Nice to meet you. Regina Falange. I just don't get it. We didn't do anything wrong. I know. Although you did tell an awful lot of jokes. I thought you said those jokes were funny. Joke, 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 joke. Joke, joke. Blah, blah. Well, maybe it was all of your questions. What about my questions? The sheer volume. It was like flying with the Riddler. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that another joke? Was that another question? Did you have a crush on me when you first met me? Yeah, sure. Can you people not see me? You know, I don't like to brag about it, but I give, like, the best massages. All right, then massage me up right nice. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> So good, isn't it? <laughs> so good, I don't know what I've done to deserve it. <laughs> Say goodbye to sore muscles. Goodbye, muscles. Hey, shaving? No, rabies. Water, orange juice, and what looks like cider. Taste it. Yep, it's fat. I drank fat. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I did that two minutes ago. Excuse me. Hi. Yes? Well, you're kind of sitting in my seat. What do you mean, your seat? I, I mean, I was sitting there. But you got up. But I never left the room. But you left the chair area. All right, that's it. Give me your underwear. I'm really sick of your smoking, so I brought something that is going to help you quit. Oh. <laughs> nope, that patch is no good. <laughs> I think this is the episode of Three's Company where there's some kind of misunderstanding. <laughs> Sorry, did I get you? No, you didn't get me. It's an electric drill. You get me, you kill me. Calm down. Do you want this unit or not? I do not want this unit. Oh, you should have told me that before. Not a mind reader. <laughs> hey, 
and we're out of beer. Okay, I'm going to Monica's. Fine! All right. We figured you might respond this way. So we have a backup offer. Oh, no, no, no. No more offers. You can't offer anything to us. Let us keep the apartment. And as a thank you, Rachel and I will kiss for one minute. Totally worth it. That was one good minute. Good night. Good night. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need a break? My boots and tan. Hey, can you get a little closer so I can see the price? So I can see it from right here. It'll cost you one husband. Okay, I'm sorry. I think I, I can walk the rest of the way now. Just, just give me my boots. I don't have your boots. Well, I don't have them either. Where are they? Well, why don't you check in one of my saddlebags while I chew on a bale of hay? Okay, what next? Blow a bubble. A bubble's good. It's got a uh, boyish charm. It's impish. Here we go. See, uh, I wrote a note to myself, and then I realized I didn't need the note, so I balled it up, and now I wish I was dead. Can you guys please try to keep it down? We're trying to start a boggle tournament. Joe, if these people find out they're playing spelling games over there, there'll be nobody left at our party. <laughs> Chandler, you're smoking? What are you doing? Hey, shut up. You're not my real mom. Oh my goodness, where did you hide it? I got it for your wedding and I ordered it weeks ago and it finally got here. Deeps, you didn't have to get us anything for our wedding. You already did so. I love it, it's huge. Just open it, open it. <laughs> it's the Ms. Pass Band machine. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know where to put it, so I just left it here for now. Oh, well, maybe we can put it in the guest bedroom. Yeah, okay. <gasps> I kind of like it here. This sucks. <laughs> when I had insurance, I could get hit by a bus or, or catch on fire, you know? But it wouldn't matter. Now I gotta be careful? I'm sorry, man. There's never a good time to have to stop catching on fire. <laughs> this year was supposed to be great. Well, it's only the second day, and I'm a loser with stupid leather pants that don't even fit. <laughs> No, you're, you're not a loser. Yeah, no, you're not a loser. Look at me! <laughs> if you ever hurt my little sister, if you ever cause her any unhappiness of any kind, I will hunt you down and kick your ass. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> okay, dude, <clears throat> stop it, okay? <clears throat> I'm, I'm not kidding here. Hey, I hear what you're saying, okay? And thanks for the warning. <laughs> no problem. So are we friends again? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you won't believe what Monica's older brother just said to me. <laughs> dude, it's Chandler. Let me in. Go away. <laughs> I don't want to see anybody. I know. I went to the tanning place and the same thing happened to me. You have to let me in. Really? Did you count Mississippi? <laughs> you, you're not tan? No. I just had to get a picture of this. <laughs> I'll see you later. Monica dies, then I would get Emma, right? If Monica's not around, I'm not good enough to raise Emma? No, that, that is not what we're saying. Yeah, he's lying. He looked down. <laughs> well, what is wrong with me? Am I, am I incompetent? Because I managed to survive whatever it is that killed the three of you. Hey, dude, you okay? Sorry about before. Oh, no, that's okay. You're totally right. I don't know anything about disciplining a child. But it did hurt my feelings, and I want you to know that if I die, you don't get Joey.
Guys are dead. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning rounds. All right? We're going to destroy you. I want to bet? Oh, I'm so confused as to what we've been doing so far. What's the matter with you? Some mean guys at the coffee house took my hat. No. Kid. It was ridiculous, you know? These guys, they were bullies. Actual bullies, you know? We're grown-ups. This kind of stuff isn't supposed to happen anymore. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, no, wait a minute. I have no one. Ten years ago, there were these people called the Maccabees. Oh, oh, oh Merry Christmas! Santa! Hey! What are you doing here, Santa? Well, I'm here to see my old buddy, Ben. What are you doing here, weird turtle man? I'm the holiday armadillo, your part Jewish friend. You sent me here to give Ben some presents, remember? What? I'm standing here, huh? Hey, hey, those guys are taking their stuff. Hey, hey, get away from that. Hey. God, that was, that was amazing. That was incredible. You guys, you guys kicked butt. Us, what about you guys? Man, you really, bing, gave it to old Mr. Clean back there. He was a big guy. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, you know, I wouldn't know, having missed everything. Oh, don't do that to yourself. Any one of us could have tripped over that little girl's jump rope. <laughs> so, listen, guys, are we, uh... Are we okay here? We're okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, can I have my hat back? <laughs> no. <laughs> What? Rachel, could I see you for a moment? Chandler, you got yourself into those cuffs, you get yourself out of them. No, 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 I can't get myself right out of them. You must have me confused with the amazing Chandler. <laughs> we're in trouble either way, okay? If she comes in and sees me locked to this instead of the chair, she's gonna know you were in here, so you might as well just let me go. What if I clean your bathroom for a month? Still wouldn't be clean. <laughs> All I want is my freedom. Foot rubs for a month. Freedom. I'll take all of your photos and I'll put them into photo albums. Freedom. I want my freedom. Why won't you hear me? Sophie, help me. Help me. Sophie, sit. Freedom. Give it up. No. Oh. God, would you just calm down? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say this for the last time. Would you please just... Hey! I'm sorry, we don't have your sheep. Hey. Hey. So what happened? Did a forest tick you off? No. You know how we're always saying we need a place for the mail. Yeah? Well, I started building one. But then, I decided to take it to the next step. You're building a post office? No, an entertainment unit with a mail cubby built right in. It's a one-day job, Max. Okay. My word, those are snug. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are my old work pants. Sergio Valente. <laughs> Power saw kind of got away from me there. <laughs> oh, hey, Chandler, when you see Frankie, tell him Joey Tribbiani says hello. He'll know what it means. <laughs> you sure he's going to be able to crack that code? Marcel, where are you going with that disc? 
you are not putting that on again, Marcel, okay, if you press that button, you are in very, very big trouble. <laughs> Dude, you almost crushed my hat. <laughs> Sorry. And the bunny got away. This would be the place where you explain the hat. Oh, yeah. But this is play, right? And I'm up for the part of this real cool, like, suave, international guy. A real clothes horse. So I figure everyone at the audition is going to be wearing this kind of, you know, ultra-hip, high-fashion stuff. And you're going to make them all disappear. <laughs> yeah, like you could find something as sophisticated as this. <laughs> Done. <laughs> It's not going to make any sense. Ross didn't get the annulment. We are still married. What? Our kid. Oh my God! <laughs> Ross. Okay, maybe it wasn't my best decision, but I just couldn't face another failed marriage. Uh, okay, let me just jump in and ask: At what point did you think this was a successful marriage? <laughs> well, see, now that I can see crying over, but Bambi is a cartoon. You didn't cry when Bambi's mother died? Yes, it was very sad when the guy stopped drawing the deer. <laughs> about a bet. Winner takes all. Ooh, we could end up with nothing. Or you can end up with everything. Oh, I like that. <laughs> all right, so what do you say? No. Oh. Just do it. Oh, oh, I'm convinced. <laughs> okay, I, I can get this open. A anybody got a coat hanger? Oh, I do. Oh, no, wait a minute. I took it out of my shirt when I put it on this morning. No, shut up. The camera adds 10 pounds. Uh, so how many cameras are actually on you? Thank you, but it, it would take me forever to pay that money back, and I, I don't want that hanging over my head. Okay, besides, as soon as my insurance kicks in, I can get all the free operations I want. Okay, I think I'm probably start with that laser eye surgery thing. Hey. 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 What's going on? Well, Joey's got a really bad hernia, but it's nothing that a little laser eye surgery won't fix. He sees this. Don't move. Now, don't look at him. <laughs> what it comes down to is you would risk your life for Ross before you would for me. That's the bottom line. Well, no, not exactly. All right, look, I, I wasn't trying to save Ross, okay? My sandwich was next to Ross. <laughs> All right? I, w I was trying to save my sandwich. <laughs> From a bullet. I know it doesn't make much sense. Much sense? <laughs> look, Chandler, it was instinct, okay? I just went for it. So you risked your life for a sandwich. I know it sounds crazy, but Chandler, this is the greatest sandwich in the world. What should I wear to a Knicks game? Uh, a t-shirt that says, I don't belong here. Why don't you go see Frankie? My family's been going to him forever. He did my first suit when I was 15. No, wait, 16. No, excuse me, 15. All right, when was 1990? Okay, you have to stop the Q-tip when there's resistance. You know what? I think we can go out there. I mean, they have more important things to worry about. Yeah, we'll be fine. Look, Rachel, I wanted to tell you. I thought I should. I, I did, and then Chandler and Joey convinced me not to. <laughs> Wax the door shut. We're never leaving it. Because it's a television show. Drake, what are you getting at? <laughs> I'm not Drake. That's right. He's not Drake. He's Hans Ramore, Drake's evil twin. <laughs> Is the
this true? <laughs> yes, yes, it is true. And I know this because, because he pretended to be Drake to, to sleep with me. What? <laughs> and then he told me he would run away with me. And he did it. <laughs> And you left the toilet seat up, you bastard! I'm so gonna get back at Ross. Oh, yeah, this will show him. Here we go. What are you doing? Oh, you'll see, my friend! <laughs> I'm dead? <laughs> and so young. Posting that I died? That really isn't funny. Well, how you died was funny. Oh, please, hit by a blimp? <laughs> it kills over one Americans every year. <laughs> Hold on. There's something different. I went to that tanning place your wife suggested. Was that place the sun? Oh, Australopithecus isn't supposed to be in that display. No, 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 Homo habilis was erect. Australopithecus was never fully erect. Well, maybe he was nervous. 